Hello and good day guys. Welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafinda. Only today, we're not going to be on the Little Farmer's Farm. We're having a short road trip. Take about two seconds to get the, to our neighbour's plot, Magical Michael Derbyshire, of Old Mac Darby's Farm. Check him out. Description will be in uh, the comments below. I've got that wrong, haven't I? A link will be in the comments below to Mixed Channel, Old Mac Darby's Farm. And you can watch uh, Michael and Henry doing their bit. So, um, never stuck for a job down there on Old Mac Darby's. So, we'll have a trip up and uh, see me brother Bilo with Magical Mick. And, um, yeah, we're going to be doing a brassica tent, a walking brassica tent today. We're going to be sh uh, tenting it up. Again, the trampoline frames. All of this, you'll see... We, we actually worked it out, or I worked it out slightly wrong. You could build that by getting the trampolines from Freecycle. You could build that for 70 quid, 70 pounds sterling. Check it out. We had a great time today, me and him. All right, enjoy yourselves. See you in a bit. Hello. And today, we're on a different plot. We're on um, Old MacDarby's farm with Magical McDarbyshire, he's just doing a bit of filming as we, as we speak. Or he was doing a bit of filming, he's just, he's just here you now. Yeah. So yeah, we're on old McDarby's farm and today's plan is to uh, skin this with the old um, netting, the brassica netting. Right. Oh yeah, there's the devil's the devil's bird up there. Look, can't I can't zoom in on that? One of the pigeons. So this is it, and it's uh, it's quite a width, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, well, like, over the top there, it's eight meters, seven and a half, seven seven and a half meters over the top there. Seven and a half meters span. And then from that, from front to back there, six meters. Right. Well, that there is uh, three metres wide. We've just stitched that together, haven't we, Mick, with the old zip ties? Yeah. Three so, metres makes six metres, so it should just go from front to back. I'll let you explain anyway. That's what we're going to be trying to do anyway. We're going to get it stretched all across there so it covers the full the full length. But obviously you've got your drops at the front, so it's called some, we're going to try and do it in a one, aren't we? Because we had to piece these ones when yeah, we did no, these before. Right, and so you'll need panels for front and back, same as this. And what sort of netting is it, Mick? Scaffold debris netting. Uh, that was 50 quid because it's, well, 48 quid because it's uh, 3 metres wide. So you can get 2 metres wide, I think it's like. Two quid, is it? Yeah, from um, I got it from Screwfix, I think. You get two meters wide. You look at this one. That's two. Uh, no, that's three meters wide. That, one. that one over there is. You have to put it in three pieces. Yeah. You have to th stitch three times, don't you, on that so one? Use a lot more cable ties, and uh, so it probably cost you the same in long run. Because you get fifty meters on your roll, so it's plenty on it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're going to see how it goes with this, though, aren't we? Yep. Mate, for 50, 50 quid, you, you, you could probably get two or three of these done, really, with that, couldn't you? Well, you could get, get oh, two right, done, wouldn't you? Sort of, we're going to use off that roll, eight metres. Yeah, so... We've well, got 42 metres left there, in there. Yeah. No, I've not. It's no, because there's two, isn't there? So yeah, 16 metres. Meters. Uh, 16, 32, 48, you'd get three done. <laughs> so, when you work that out, that's what, that's about... Well, it's about 16 quid of a tent, isn't it? 16, 16 pound a tent. And then you've got your zip ties, call it 20 quid. Let's get cracking on with it then, Paul. Okay, so we've loosely fitted the netting over the top of it. You got it off the internet, but I can't... What about... Can you remember where you got it from? Off the internet, Mick? No. No. But it's three metre wide, 50 metre long, scaffold debris netting in black. And it should be around about 50 quid. It was exactly with the delivery, 50 quid. 50 pound with, with delivery. Yeah. 
that's if you're a UK resident, obviously. If you're elsewhere in the world, then uh, prices may vary. But that's what you're after. You're after that, that uh, scaffold debris netting. So what we're going to do now is we've just picked up the staples. We've each got a staple gone. We're probably going to be working Mick on that side, me on this side, and keeping that uh, bit of a tension going because we want it to be quite uh, tight. Not overly tight because it's, it's easier to split, but get a reasonable tension on it because we're all about the aesthetics on here, aren't we, Mick? It's got to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye, boys and girls. So that's what we're going to be doing. Like I say, working opposite each other, trying to keep a bit of tension, but keeping that shape. You can see there where we've zip tied it together, we've got the, the middle bars. So we're going to try and uh, follow the middle bars and keep that, keep that um, as our central point and then work off from that. I'm wondering whether or not we might be all right zip tying that onto bars, you know, that middle bit. And then we can pull against it each side, can't we? Maybe. Right, well, we'll crack on. Let's take a look at how much that scaffold debris netting costs. All right. I have no idea. Yeah, all I do is I roll it over there. This is how you do it on your own. Pull it down. Hold it down this stapler. Go staple, yeah. And then roll it again. One more roll, I think. Stick that in there, crack it, and then get on your next one. And then off you go. Yeah. Magic. <laughs> that's, your, that's your first fix then, and then what Mick's going to do and what we're going to do after is, this is just temporarily to fix it, your first fix, and then some 2 by one's going to go over, and he's going to screw that down onto it as well. Screw is where not too tight. <laughs> yeah, where that wayward screw is there. But well, that's going to again give it another fix over the top of it, so it's going to be like a permanent fix then. And hopefully, we should be laughing. We're just following the line there with that central um, stitch together of the two parts. We're just affixing that then to our central um, tubes. And then we're going to pull away from that, or mix, oh, already started pulling away from that and fixing it at the back here. We thought that we would probably have to piece the back. But we might be able to, it's looking like we're going to be able to get away with doing it as one big sheet. So we'll see how we get on. Okay, that's scaffolding direct. Not sure about that, um, that code there. <laughs> that's Liverpool. But uh, anyway, that's all I typed in was, let's go back. I typed in to Google. Obviously, I'm obviously I'm in the UK, but I put three meter by fifty meter construction debris netting in black, and it came up with these. And uh, yeah, so if you skip skip down a little bit, that was scaffolding direct. That one, black debris netting, three meters by fifty meters, forty gsm. Don't know what that means. Something square meters. Don't know. Um, debris netting is durable heavy duty plastic netting for use on scaffolding to protect, to protect pedestrians and traffic from falling debris I'm guessing but there are different sites there the Amazon site let's have a look at that one I say it doesn't take you long to have a, have a look about does it that says um, Thirty-six ninety-nine. Oh, that's um, two used and one new. No, oh, I don't want the, the used. Fifty-two pound ninety-nine free delivery. Uh, so yeah, you pay your money, you text your choice, don't you? I guess. But that's what you're looking for—the debris netting. Okay, back to the plots. So to get that tautness, you, you, you're going to have that slack at the ends on the corners and mix tightening it up now by just basically gathering it, gathering it around the pole and taking in the slack if you like. We're just going to keep working around, aren't you, mate, with that? Yeah, a little bit 
Yeah, works with both hands. <laughs> yeah, we're equally bad with both hands, us, aren't we? My hands are far, my eyes are me down. That's what it is. Yeah. And then as we, and as we do that at each corner, that'll just gather up and tighten up. And as you can see, it's quite uh, quite taut at the moment, but in the end, it'll all be like a lucky like drum. So these, these were eight foot trampolines, okay. but with a, with a straight, but I think they might have been ten these, might they? Yeah, I think they were tens these, weren't they, because they're quite big, aren't they? Yeah. But then it's sort of like a, um, a quarter hoop goes up to there, and then you've got the straight bars that go across, giving you that expanse. And then again at this side, you've got the other quarter section. Yeah. So that's that's three halves of it. So that's like one and a half trampolines. It's two plus the straight bars. And the straight bars more. They come with it, don't they? The straight bars. They're like the the side pieces, and they fill in the central gap. So yeah, these are recycled trampolines yet again. All, it's all recycled trampolines on here. That's a twelve foot of that one. This is a twelve foot here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the hoop in it, the twelve foot hoop, and that's really really strong and sturdy stuff. If you look at the width of those uh, poles, they're about two and a half inches wide, so that's going nowhere. That looks like I'm doing now, doesn't it? I better get cracking. <laughs> yeah, keeping them lines straight. Yeah. So that's uh, just snipping off the tails now, Mike. And you, Paul? Yep. Not done a bad job of that, have we, kid? Yeah, no, it's mint. Can't see one seam in that. No creases. I like the black, it's more see through, strangely, than the green. Isn't it? I think it lets a bit more sun. I mean, it might not do, but it could let a bit more sun through, couldn't it, I guess? But yeah, we just finished going around with this, uh, the zip ties and the staples. Need a few staples to attach it to the timbers at the bottom, but Mike's going to put over the 2 by one later for a secondary fix. But for the time being, that's nipped it on. I've cut a hole for the door. Yeah? And a magical guru team. A magical guru production, this. And it's all been done out of the one piece, really. Well, the two pieces stitched together, and we've not had to piece the fronts, it's just all been pulled over. Yeah. It's going to do the job. You're going to get that sagging because obviously we've not got as many ribs as this one. This one's got loads of ribs on it, so that's not as much um, distance to travel before you've got a support, if you like. But it's, not, it's, it's doing the job, you don't have to be. Charge my hull, does it? Yeah. 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 It's like a trampoline, yeah. Which is what they are. If you can look at this, it's they're all trampoline frames. Yeah, no, that was the sec that was the second one because that one's like the, um, the the Western wagon, isn't it? That's the Western wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Three separate frames, like that, they've come out in three separate frames, really. It was just because uh, they had a spur trampoline. Yeah. It's nice and high, this one. It's going to be a, oh, 11 foot high, that one, is it? I'm standing in there. It's, got to be it's a good 10 foot.
we've got now sweet corn in here and uh, tobacco. That's up there. Good tent, that one. Right, that one. We'll show you what makes growing on in a minute. After our brew. After the brew. <laughs> but first, we're going to put the kettle on. Cheers, Dave. And there it is, in all its glory. Best tent on site, that. Good stuff. Mick's just gone making a brew. We're going to have a cup of... More or less finished now. He's going to get the two-by-ones. Which come in six feet length. I think they can come in eight feet as well. So they're going to be a secondary fix. Just to make sure it's properly pinned down. Yeah, it's fine, that, isn't it? No wrong with that. No wrong with that. Oh, there's a gap there. That's escape the pogrom. We'll sort that out with the old staples but yeah so the two by one's going to be going over the top of that the two by one timber and that's going to be screwed down to, for, a, for a permanent fix so you'll have the double fix of the staples and the two by one screwed down and that'll hold it and that'll actually tighten it up a little bit more as well once he does that i mean this one we didn't do it well mick didn't do it just that's just the staples and that's held but yeah he needs another piece of timber for going in there Probably about 14 inches of the decking board, which he's going to get. Well, he's got it actually in there. It's just a matter of uh, fitting that in. And then it'll be that stuff that goes over the top of it. Is your permanent fix. But with this, I mean... Hello? I'm just down here doing a bit of filming, mate, so I'll come up. Um, so, as you can see with that, it's virtually see-through. Whereas the green isn't as, uh, I would say, opaque. I just like it. You can see what's growing on through the... At the moment, there's all the alliums in that he's been overwintering. So he's got all his garlic in there and onions. Yeah, that's the bonus, really, of having the black because if you get the three metre too, um, you only need... I mean, for most beds like these ones... Now these raised beds that we've got down here, that mick has got. You only need the one, you can get them taller than that. But you only need the one. You want the height, so you want about four feet for a brassica bed. About four feet high. And then following the span. So if you get a four foot by, say, eight foot brassica bed, then um, with one length of the black scaffold debris netting or construction debris netting whichever whichever it's mentioned as then uh, you can do a you can do a bed without stitching it together it's just one single bed then because that's just short of 10 feet three meters which is going to be more than enough to cover it anyway i'm rambling on but yeah those are those are our little tips i'll see if i can actually um Find on the internet where you get the uh, scaffold debris netting from and get a price for you. That's handy battening. And it was eight foot lengths and they were only 99 pence. 99 pence they were from uh, Savoy Timber in Wigan. And that'll do. You don't have to get proper um, 2 by one That's like sort of half inch really. Half inch wide or half inch deep handy battening. And that does the job. So that cost about six or seven pounds to do that. So to completely net that, the trampoline frames were free. So completely netted, I would say that that's it's definitely cost less than a hundred pounds. Obviously, you need your timbers there to to, uh, to fasten to, but I think you could do that for hundred quid. I think it's about sixty pounds for the netting, the zip ties, the staples, and the handy battening. And then you've got the, uh, the, the the timber bases. You could do that for 100 quid. And that's a big growing area, that. That's like 14 feet. Or oh, is it 16? I think it might be 16 feet. Um, by about, I'd say, I want to say 12 feet. 12 by 16. Good, isn't it? Good bit of kit. There's Mick there. We're fixing the fence between the two plots. That's uh, the little farmer's farm next door, obviously, and this is old MacDarby's farm. 
As I say, link in the description below. Just to wrap up now with the uh, magic, here he is. Yeah. Old McDarby's farm, magical McDarby's here. Six there. feet away. The Professor. Oh yeah, yeah, got to keep that social distance going until the 12th. Well, probably beyond the 12th, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, check him out. Old Mac Darby's farm, Mick and Henry. They're always up to something, aren't you? Always. Always doing something. Keeping growing with your heads down. Anyway, cheers for that, mate. No Come problem. No See problem, Paul. <laughs> See you later on. Ta-da. Okay, that's my compadre, Magical Mick from next door. Go and check him and Henry and all the other crazy dudes that pop in on the uh, little, on old Mac Darby's farm, sorry. And uh, uh, go and share the love. You won't be disappointed. There's always something going on down there. All right, catch you later. Remember, we love you all. And keep growing with your heads down. All right, bye-bye now, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow.